Hi, everyone. It's Kelly from The Hub, here today with our friend Steph. You may recognize her. She's one of the famous nutritionists from Wellspam. How are you there, my friend? I'm good. How are you doing? I am doing very well. So it is National Nutrition Month. It is a whole month of nutrition. A whole month. <laughs> and so for the next two weeks, we are going to hear from two of our famous nutritionists from Wellspam. This week, we are going to hear from Steph. And next week, we are going to hear from Fran. And so this week, we're going to talk about personalizing your plate, which yeah. I have to say I've never thought about that before. I've just thought about here is my plate, here I'm eating. Mm -hmm. I will say this, however, your lessons from last summer have still stuck with me. Good, that's very good. So. I'm not saying I follow them every time, but I think about them because you were very good at teaching me like how to remember like, what size protein and what size carbs and all the things. So for those of you have forgot, who have forgotten, we may need to replay those so that we can be thoughtful again, because even though we're sort of, you know, maybe nearing the end of the pandemic, that doesn't mean that our nutrition has gotten any better. So we might need to, re to replay some of those to keep some of those things in our heads. But since it's National Nutrition Month, we're gonna be, we're gonna remind ourselves about some things that are going on. So the first one is mindful eating. What does that mean? Mindful eating is um, paying attention to what you're doing with your food. So um, for instance, it would be, um, eating when you are not distracted. So you're doing only eating. So you're sitting at the table, you're not on your phone, you're not watching TV, you're not driving in the car, um, you're not at your desk at work. All of those things would be uh, mindless eating where we're doing other things. So we're not really paying attention to what we're doing with our food or how full we are, how hungry we are. Um, so just being more aware of what we're doing with food. I think a lot of us mindless eat. Mm -hmm. Why is it bad to do that? So when we're mindlessly eating, um, it's very easy to eat more than what our body needs. Um, we usually tend to eat faster. We're not um, enjoying the food as much. So we kind of eat it and we're like, oh, I ate that already. I want more because um, you weren't enjoying it, you weren't satisfied with what you had because you weren't really focused on it. So it's, it's getting back to our bodies and paying more attention to, am I really hungry right now? How full am I? And really just um, focusing on those hunger cues and fullness cues. And that's hard to do when you're not focused on what you're doing with the food. Aha. Uh -huh. And truly when you're mindful, you're gonna enjoy it more. So why wouldn't you wanna do that? That right. makes much more sense than just throwing food in your mouth or eating it in the car. How many of us have done that? Mm -hmm. Or at your desk at work? Oh boy, all right. Things to make sure that we are stopping to do. All right, the next one on the list is hydration. I will say, it sits next to me. Good. That's good. That's and this has water in it. Good. Okay. That's perfect. What are the rules? Because, you know, some people can also say, woohoo, be proud of me. But there's sugar soda in it, or there's lots of other stuff. So what are the what are the rules or the or the tips about about hydration? So hydration would be, what they recommend is 64 ounces of fluid a day. So the fluid, the best choice is the water. Um, your body needs that fluid throughout the day, but you can also include in there like your milk, if you were drinking milk. Um, if you were having hot tea, they let you count that. It would also be if you had um, coffee, 
So um, some of the problems with coffee would be the caffeine. So as long as you're not having too much coffee a day, you could count it. Um, but I would also be cautious of like the cream and sugar in the coffee because that's going to add a lot of calories and sugar there. But the, the biggest goal is calorie free drinks that you're not drinking your calories that you're getting it um, calories from your food, solid food versus the liquids and that you're um, getting enough fluid throughout the day. Um, if we don't get enough fluid, sometimes we we eat because we're thirsty. So we're eating because we're thirsty, not because we're truly hungry. So that well, helps with that too. 64 ounces, right? Yep, so said. eight, eight ounce glasses a day is what they talk about. So sometimes it helps you have that, that container there, um, even to measure like what's my container have in it? Is it four cups? Is it three cups? And then you know I need two of those a day or I need three of those a day. And it just helps you to be more aware of getting that fluid in. And if you have it beside you like you do, you're more likely to reach for it. Um, so if you keep a container like that beside you, it helps you to drink more water too throughout the day. Well. I'm going to be real honest about something and normally I would not reveal this kind of information, but I will be real honest because I think it's helpful. So I really like iced tea and I really like unsweetened iced tea, which I know is, a, is good, but I was drinking hmm, a lot of unsweetened iced tea. I make it myself and I was super proud of myself because I was making unsweetened iced tea. But there's a small problem with unsweetened iced tea, caffeine. Mm -hmm. And so I was, and you know, so there's a problem with caffeine. It actually dehydrates you. So because I was drinking a lot of unsweetened iced tea, it was dehydrating me, which means even though I was drinking a lot of it, I really wasn't getting all the benefits of the volume of liquid. So, hmm. let's just say when you don't get enough liquid, things don't function in your gastrointestinal system the way they're supposed to, right? They just don't. Right. And so I was having concerns in that area. And I was saying to myself, but I'm drinking all the time. Why am I having problems in that area? And I was thinking to myself and thinking to myself. And then my physician said to me, well, are you having a lot of caffeine? And I thought, well, I'm having iced tea. And then I and I'm smart. I just wasn't putting both of those parts together. Right. And so I stopped drinking iced tea. I was having the same volume in water. And guess what? The problem cleared up in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you can have some caffeine and count that in there. Um, the key is that it's like less than six cups of coffee a day. So that would be six physical cups, not not um, right not six actually six. measured correct six <laughs> measuring cups not six coffee cups which are more than six cups so right. so if you're under that it's okay it's when you're above that that it's a problem so yeah water's the best choice they do sell like the flavored waters now which are good options too they have those carbonated um flavored waters that don't have any sugar substitutes in it's just fruit and vegetable or fruit yeah it is vegetable some are cucumber but yeah and I don't like fake fruit flavors and I love those flavored waters. So they work really well. They give you that bubbly feeling that you get from soda, but you're getting zero calories and it would count as your water too. So if you don't wanna just drink plain water, those are good options also. Yeah, so those are, I get those to treat myself because I like that soda-ness as well. Um, and I know that if I have soda, I will drink all of it. So I only have soda when, like, it's a super treat. So right. I drink those, I drink the, those bubbly, I always call them bubbly waters. And yeah. Yeah. Well, I drink those for like a regular treat. So, okay. yeah, so word to the wise on hydration. Not all hydration is the same. Right. Thoughtful as I finger waggle all of you, including <laughs> myself, who I did it wrong myself. So there you go. All yeah. right. So the last one on the list is eat all your food groups at every meal. 
So personalize your plate means eating a wide variety of foods, but choosing foods that you enjoy. So um, within the guidelines of healthy eating, I guess I would say. So really healthy eating is 80-20 is what we talk about. So 80% of the time you're trying to make healthier food choices. The other 20%, you can treat yourself like you were talking about with the soda. So, so it's, more, it's more healthy eating is moderation. And really that's what the theme is for nutrition month is personalizing your plate. So eating the healthier foods, making food choices that you enjoy. Um, I'll ask people, do you like cottage cheese? There's usually either yes, or they make a really ugly face. Right, so, right. So that's the one food that I can kind of gauge is whether they really like it or not, because they react. So I love so, it. Yeah. So for instance, if you don't like cottage cheese, I'm not going to force you to eat cottage cheese. Right. Um, so it's eating foods that you enjoy. And I would just encourage you as you get older, your taste buds get weaker. So things you might not have liked when you were younger, you might enjoy now. So that would be my other challenge to you in nutrition month is just trying new foods, um, trying foods you haven't had since you were a kid and you said you didn't like. Um, trying them cooked different ways because sometimes it's it's if you change the way you cook them you might like them better. Um, oh yeah. So trying them with different seasonings on, and I'm talking more like probably about vegetables at this point. So, you know, just trying a wide variety, increasing your variety of what you're choosing, um, but really making it your own within the guidelines of healthy eating. So. That's, I think that's fascinating because like my husband hates cooked carrots, mm -hmm. but that's because when he had them, his mom made them mushy mm -hmm. and I made, and so I said, he's like, well, I don't want cooked carrots. So, okay. So she made them like in pot roast with potatoes. That's how, you know, like yep. <laughs> that old school way. And so I said, how about this? I will make cooked carrots for you. And if you don't like them, I'll eat all of yours. Cause I think cooked carrots are amazing. So I roasted them and I did them like, well roasted. I did them like awesome. I, I put a little curry powder on them and a little salt and pepper. And he was like, well, these are fantastic. And I was like, I told you so. I like a little, did a little dance because I knew that he would love them. Right. And so now he thinks that they're totally fabulous. But so you're right. I think that it, it takes someone who's willing to try to cook them differently. And then you're right. Someone, who, the other person who's willing to try to taste them differently right. in order yeah. to make that work. Okay. So I just need somebody who's willing to cook, to try to cook beets for me differently oh. because I think they taste like dirt. And I know that is not popular in Lancaster County because everyone's like, beets are amazing. Right, right. Beet, not for me. I think so. If someone out there is willing to make beets for me, in a non-traditional way, I am willing to try them. So yeah. So mindful eating, not in front of the TV or in, in front of you on your desk or in the car. Water or bubbly water. Be thoughtful about your beverages that you put in. Don't drink your calories. I like that. Don't drink your calories. And be thoughtful. And I like, so I've been thinking about this. It's don't beat yourself up about your nutrition. Mm -hmm. And you said it's 80, 20. So in 10 days, and I think that that's like a really good thing in 10 days, two days of that, you, you can have two days where you can have, you know, something that's not necessarily a hundred percent perfect. Correct. You yeah. can have pizza and not have to be like, oh man, right. you can have, and you, and you don't have to have a hundred percent veggie pizza. Right. And Just, that's the key. It's, yeah. it's, it's moderation. So it's allowing yourself to have your favorite foods in moderation. Healthy eating isn't black and white thinking. So it's not all or nothing. It's not, I have to do this every day all the time. And that, because it's not realistic for a lifetime and right. that's the goal, right? Yep. Right. You're going to have some chocolate now and again. It's just, you don't have to eat a whole bag full of peeps or container, whatever they come in. Right. Yeah. 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 Yep. Steph, thank you. This makes it, this makes it real and good for all of us as always. Good. Thank you, my friend. Yep. We'll so see you. Food. 
That's right. Try some new food, everybody. See you, everybody. Yeah.